Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we'll be testing out the new Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy collection. As you gorgeous people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away, because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. I poked myself in the eye, what the hell, Nady? <laughs> not gonna lie, the bitch is a bit of a Wet n Wild fan. I didn't used to be because their products seemed kind of cheap to me, but then once their Photo Focus Foundation came out, I was obsessed. They stepped their titties up, they are on their A-game now, and they are coming out with a really good quality products. Which is why I did not even hesitate in ordering this little baby. I did get it directly from their website for $35, which really isn't that bad. Plus, this shit arrived to me like two days comes faster than I do. No, Nady, you can't say that. This is why you keep getting demonetized. Anyways, I am on the Wet n Wild website. Like I said, this is $35. I had free shipping, so $35 total, not too fucking bad. Because this literally came out just a couple days ago, there are no reviews whatsoever, but their website says, soar into summer with a curated collection inspired by the feathers of the Allens and Costa hummingbirds. Eyes feature a range of purples, blues, and greens for dramatic shimmering looks. Lips are glosses and reds, pinks and corals for a vibrant summer pout. Cheeks are flushed in a combination of vivid pigments for a unique summer glow. Keep skin refreshed this summer. In the box, you get three eyeshadow quads, two mega liner liquid eyeliners, four icon lip glosses, three color icon baked blushes, a perfect pout lip scrub, and a perfect focus primer water. And they have a little blurb at the bottom that says, by purchasing this collection, a portion of the proceeds will be donated to the LA Audubon Society, a nonprofit organization whose mission is to protect birds and their habitats. I really like that I've never been a bird lover, but I like the fact that they're giving to a good and unique cause. But I am a really fucking curious, so let's open this little bitch up. My god, are they trying to keep the fucking Illuminati out of this? Holy hell. Jesus Christ on a stick. All right. Ooh, I don't see anything yet. Eh? No. Eh? No. Uh? Ooh, that is pretty. Like, I don't want to unbox this. It's that pretty. Oh my god, but this blush, holy shit, we are unboxing this. Look at the color of that. It's like fuchsia with like a blue undertone. Oh my god, that's beautiful. What else do we got in here? Okay, let's just take this out and do some actual swatches. First, let's start with this lip scrub. I have been making lip balms lately, and I gotta say the one I have on is fucking banging, and so I don't really need a lip scrub, but we might as well try it. This is the perfect pout lip scrub. I'm guessing it's in Wawa Melon because it has the little seeds and it looks like a watermelon. Oh, that smells just like a Jolly Rancher. Oh, yes. Oh, this is bringing me back to like 10-year-old chubby Nady where I'd only eat candy. Oh, those were the good old days. Mmm. Oh my god, that tastes good. Mmm. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever done a lip scrub and actually eaten it, but this shit is good. I feel like I always see Jeffrey Star eating his own lip scrubs and now I get it. Mmm, fuck me, maybe I did need a lip scrub because they feel so soft now, damn! Haven't heard a trend in like a year. The moment I start filming, it's like the fucking Polar Express out there. Anyways, I do really like this. If you're into sugar scrubs, I totally recommend it. Their website says this is four bucks. Sugar scrubs are really, really easy to make, but if you're not down to making them, then to me, that's like a no-brainer. Like, it's super cheap. It tastes really good. Go grab yourself one. Next, I think we'll swatch the blushes, and oh my god, they have the demon packaging on here, too. Like, they are trying to keep everybody out of this shit. Oh, good god. They should go into, like, the baby-proofing business. You put this shit on anything, ain't no Nobody getting into that. Oh, but look at that. That is stunning. It's like a light blushy color with a super metallic gold sheen. I'm having a hard time believing this is a blush, not a highlighter. But let's feel it. Oh, yeah, that is super soft. Oh, my God, that's pretty. Let's swatch this, Daddy. Oh, wow. That shit is gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Very beautiful. And this is the shade Don't Flutter Yourself. I love the pun there. Next up is Hummingbird Hype. It looks like this. Oh my god. Yikes, those are hard to open. This actually looks exactly like this one, but reversed. Like it's golden with a peachy undertone to it. Oh, and once again, so fucking soft. Like luxury soft. I'm assuming this probably has dimethicone in it because ain't no other way you can get that softness. Yes, it does. It's actually the second ingredient in it. So if you have a silicone allergy, Stay away from these. I personally do not mind dimethicone, so I'm gonna use the fuck out of these, but that is beautiful as well. Like, oh, I still don't think these are blushes. Like, that is definitely shimmery like a highlighter would be. I know that when things are labeled baked, they typically have that sheen to them, but I personally would probably not use this as a blush. Oh, but she party. And last up for the blushes, we have Dare to Soar. I'm gonna try to be careful opening this one. And this one is like a bright bluish fuchsia with kind of a goldish undertone to it. Eh? Oh, 
that's pretty, but honestly, that one is a little bit splotchy compared to the other ones. But still, this hoe ain't mad in the least because that is really pretty, and I thought that one would be my favorite, but honestly, it might be my least favorite of the three. But with that being said, it's probably the only one that I would actually use as a blush. And these little mommies are $5 a piece. Wow, that is so fucking cheap. Before I wash these off my hand, let's quick swatch these liners. I have no idea if these are actually colored like this color on top, or what's up with that? I guess we'll see in a second. Oh, it is colored. It's golden. Oh, does that mean this one's green? Yes, it's like deep, almost like hunter green. That is nice. I've never owned any eyeliners that color before. Oh, that's really nice. It's very, very metallic, which I have always wanted a metallic liner, so we're definitely gonna have to play with that. Here's the green one. I believe this one's matte. I like that too. I've never ever used a green liner before, I don't think. I'm kind of really fucking pumped to use these. Holy shit, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to sing the fucking Swatchy song. Before we swatch anything else, you guys know the song. Are you ready? It's swatching time. <laughs> All right, now we can try these lipsticks. It looks like we get four shades. We have a light pinky one, which is Fly Gal. Then we have kind of like a salmony apricot color, which is Featherless. A beautiful light orange called Pout of Paradise. And Shut the Pluck Up. Oh my God, I love that name. These are $4 a piece. How do they make them so fucking inexpensive? Oh, and I don't think they have a smell to them. Thank you. Oh, but I forgot these are lip glosses, not lipsticks. I don't really care for lip glosses. But let's start with the lightest, which is Fly Gal. Oh, that's nice. It's got a really pretty color to it, and already I can tell it's not one of those lip glosses that's really heavy on your lips. Like, it feels nice and comfortable and kind of on the oilier side, so I'm hoping that maybe it'll moisturize too. But there we go. Pretty much any color that it had instantly disappeared. One of the main reasons why I don't typically use lip glosses. But like I said, it's very comfortable. Like, I really can't tell anything is on my lips, so if I were gonna use a lip gloss, I would probably want to use these. Next up is Featherless. Oh, that feels very nice too, and it does have a a little bit of color to it. <laughs> my goodness, I actually really like this color. It's giving me like SoCal Beach vibes like, oh my god. Okay, favorite one so far out of the two that we've tested. Next is Pout of Paradise. I love this color. Like, I would wear the fuck out of this if it was a liquid lipstick. Uh... Oh, wow. That's actually really, really nicely pigmented. Like, it's a mixture of a liquid lipstick and a gloss. I like that it's not necessarily a good color on my natural skin tone, but I feel like once we have foundation on, I might be able to rock the shit out of this. Or not, I don't know. But color aside, I do really like the fact that these aren't those lip glosses that are super sticky and like uber, uber shiny. These are honestly more of like a tinted balm than a gloss. Which again, this bitch does not mind at all. And finally, we have a Shut the Pluck Up. It's this beautiful berry color. I'm excited for this one. That's really pretty too. It's just a little bit darker than my natural lip color, so it's like your lips but better. Mm hmm daddy likes, but I think my favorite is still featherless. Lord and Savior Mama RuPaul, you are testing my patience. Fuck me sideways, fuck me front ways, fuck me any way you like. I swear to fucking God, this packaging is gonna be the death of me. <gasps> Ouch, I bent my nail back. <laughs> it's like fucking CIA grade plastic. Oh, fuck me, it's sealed right there and right there. Oh, wet and wild, you're killing me, man. <gasps> oh, that's really cool. They stamped in each shade exactly where you should put it. That shit is handy. Ooh, and those feel really nice too. And they actually swatched really damn good too. I mean, are they the best shadows in the entire world? No, but for the price, this is hella good. And the same goes for these other shadows. This one is Stop Ruffling My Feathers. And once again, it's beautiful. Like the coloring is gorgeous. You would never know that these are only like three bucks a piece. Like, fuck me. And even though you can't really see the gold or red in this flock party palette on camera, in person, they are stunning. So I'm really not sure which of these that I wanna try. I would love to do three looks, but unfortunately I don't have the time to do three looks today, so I think we'll go on the colorful side. So let's start with primer, and they included this Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. I don't really understand this. Is it just like a primer, but in wet form? Eh. Okay. Is my face like magically primed now? Oh, it's like a refreshing bukkake. I guess that primed my face. I mean, it feels a bit tighter. But for foundation, I'm gonna go in with this photo focus and I'm gonna mix cream beige and soft beige. For concealer, I'm just gonna use some shape tape. Okay, so I'm gonna follow the directions that are on here and they say this is the brow bone shade. So let's start with that and try highlighting the brow bone. Ooh, that is definitely highlighting the brow bone. Eww. It's actually doing a really good job of it too. And then it said this shade right here is the transition color. 
Whew, there is a little bit of fallout with that, my goodness. But let's go ahead and place it right here on the crease and use it as a transition color. Oh my, that's actually really good. Like it's going on super easily and blending out nice. This is truthfully perfect makeup if you're a babe on a budget. Like you are gonna be able to look really fucking good, really inexpensively. And you do kind of have to build it up to get the color to show, but ain't nothing wrong with that. For the crease, they say to use this purple, which I don't know about that because I typically do not put shimmers in my crease. It really accentuates any hood that I have on my eyes but that's what they say to do, so let's go for it. Um, okay. I'm not loving this purple, y'all. It's not that it's an ugly color or anything because I think it's beautiful, but it does have a shit ton of fallout and it's not really going on that good. Maybe if I more kind of like press it in? Uh, I don't know, I mean, that's not terrible, but there is definitely a lot of fallout. Oh shit, and it's the kind of fallout that stains. Fuck, I should have put some powder down first. Bleh, so much fallout. And finally, they say put this color on the eyelid, so I'm just gonna take it on my finger and apply it that way. Everything is better using your fingers. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like mermaid realness. Just kind of mix that with the purple. Mm, mm mm. Mm -mm. Okay, so that is that, and it absolutely ruined my concealer underneath, so I'm gonna have to go in with new concealer. For the lower lash, let's just smoke out some of this transition shade. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not as excited as I was at first about these eyeshadows. It's not that they're bad, it's just that follow really turned me off. Let's try smoking out a little bit of that purple under there as well. Ooh, that flings right in the eyeballs, oh my god. Oh, meh, shit. Once again, we are ruining my concealer. Okay, these eyeshadows, at least this little quad, is definitely a no from me, unfortunately. That transition shade and brow shade were really nice, but as a whole, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But for some reason, I have a feeling that these two neutral toned ones would probably be amazing, so I guess I'm not gonna say no totally, but for this one, it's a no. For eyeliner, I feel like gold would probably look ridiculous. I should have used one of these. So instead of the gold, let's try this green one. That goes on very nicely. It's extremely liquidy though, but because it dries so fast, that's not a big issue. Let's see if we can get a wing with this little baby. Ooh. Oh, that was nice. Oh, this totally made up for that eyeshadow. I'm really, really happy with this liner and it's only three bucks like shit. Just sad about this shadow though. Eyes are done, lashes are on, and before we do blush, I think I'm gonna use Hummingbird Hype as a highlighter. We'll see if this works or not. Oh. Oh! Oh! You definitely would not want to use that as a blush. Because look at that! It literally looks like there's a fire on my skin! Oh! God! Ready? Okay, watch. Uh, <laughs> wow. Put some of that right on the inner corner too, what the fuck? I really do not understand why they call this a blush though, because why would you want like that all over your cheeks? And now that I see how shimmery this one is, I'm kind of scared to use this as a blush. Oh, but let's go ahead and try it. Mm. That is so metallic-y, I look like the fucking Tin Man now. Ugh. Mm. Shoulda went with my gut and not used this. I mean, they're beautiful as highlighters, but as a blush, that is a strong ass no for me. Although if you want a shimmery blush that's gonna make your face very shiny, then go for it. I'm just not a fan of having shine right there because it kind of makes my cheeks look bigger. Let's finish up with some lip gloss. I'm gonna go in with my favorite, Featherless. And here we are with a final look. It doesn't look bad, but I do have a few feelings. So let's start at the beginning. This lip scrub is amazing. It might be one of my favorite things out of this collection, which is weird because it's really not even a makeup item. But this is something that I really foresee myself using quite frequently. This primer spray, I think I like it. I'm not sure that I used it correctly. It's kind of a new thing for me, but it seems to be working okay. These eyeshadows. Oh, I'm torn because I really feel like these more nude ones would be amazing. I'm not sure if I just made the wrong decision in using this one, but this one I do not like at all. Like even as I'm talking, there is fallout falling all over my face. Like there's purple, there's blue, it's just everywhere. I'm definitely gonna try these ones out more though, so make sure you follow me on my social media and I'll keep y'all updated. This eyeliner, I actually really fucking love. Like it's not the kind of eyeliner that you can feel on your eyes, it's just weightless. It went on super easily. I was able to get a really nice point on my wing and it doesn't seem to be splotchy or anything, so this is another winner for me. And with these babies, I don't care what the fuck they call them, they are not blushes. These are totally highlighters. I mean, clearly, 
clearly they're beautiful, but if you're getting this with the intent that it's gonna be a blush, you might be a little bit disappointed with how shiny it is. But as highlighters, fucking adore. And lastly, these lip glosses. For somebody who typically does not like lip glosses, I really fucking like these. They're so comfortable on my lips. They feel super hydrating. They have really pretty color to them. I like them. I think the only thing that I probably wouldn't recommend out of this entire collection is the Asta La Costa Baby Shadow. I know it's really affordable, but to me, the fallout just totally ruins it. But everything else, I really like. Good job, Wet n Wild. So do I recommend these? Maybe not the entire collection because I honestly probably won't use a few of these items like this. I'm not gonna be able to use as a blush and it's definitely way too dark for my skin tone as a highlighter. And I'm probably never gonna pick this little guy up again. I don't know that I'll use all the lip glosses, but at the same time, it is really nice to have all these options. So I guess I do recommend it because it is a really good deal. Like you're getting a lot of good makeup, but if you're not gonna use everything in here, I would probably recommend only getting what you think you're gonna use. But there you go. Like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplux.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.